Hey folks, this is Lazy Hiker. I am in Kings Canyon National Park in the Grant Grove area and about to take the Big Stump Trail. This is a two mile trail loop. Didn't really show it on this map. Um, this is a nice easy loop that shows um, where some of the logging was done for sequoias before they ended it. There's a bathroom here and water here too. And the trail is just here to the left of the bathroom. Well, we're not just going to see stumps. This is a huge tree here. The limbs on it are just incredible. So we're starting off in the woods. This is the shattered tree. You see why they call it that? It was uh, cut down. And it fell downhill instead of uphill. They usually tried to make them fall uphill. But falling downhill made it fall further. And it just broke into a bunch of pieces. The wood from these trees is not good for much, which was a good thing, or they'd all be gone. There's a big stump straight ahead. This is a little loop within the loop. I'm going to turn around here. My guidebook says I should. But I want to take a picture of this stump. It's pretty big. This is Big Stump Meadow. Three stumps there. Looks like they left a lot of wood. This tree is known as Burnt Monarch. Burned up in a fire, but it's still still standing. And we'll be standing for a long time. A little offshoot of the trail leads you to what they call the feather bed. And they dig a trough and fill it with limbs to cushion the fall when the tree fell. Looks like this is the stump that they cut for that feather bed. All right, this is the Mark Twain stump. It was cut down for museum exhibitions. It was cut carefully so that it would be maintained the, the stump sections, the log sections. I'm gonna go stand on it. There's a there's steps to lead up. A lot of people turn around at the Mark Twain stump, uh, but if you continue on, 
you'll get to the road and you have to cross the road. And the hiking trail, I was looking for it. I see the sign over here. Should have went on down. There's a pedestrian crossing here. And the hiking trail continues. We'll cross back over the road later. Once you cross the road, the trail kind of stays pretty close to it, so you get road noise. There are a bunch of stumps scattered throughout the trees on the right side of the trail. One there, another there. That's quite a few. Saw tree 100 yards off the trail this way. This is a tree that they started cutting and then gave up on. So that 100 yards is the toughest ascent on this trail by far. But it's short and there's the saw tree where they started sawing. It's still alive. Most of the bark was intact. The bark is what keeps it uh, flowing. All the juice is flowing basically. Big tree. Interesting flower here. No, I have no idea what it is, but I haven't seen any of these. Well, we're almost done. There's another stump. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to see after the sawed tree, but um, not, not anybody on the trail, so a little more solitude. Here's a culvert you have to go back through to get to the other side. And we'll be at the parking lot. I do think this trail would be better done in the morning. The lighting will be better for you on some of the trees and the stumps. Mark Twain's stump. Shattered tree doesn't matter so much. Nor does the solid tree. But uh, the meadow, I just think it would be better to do in the morning. Thanks for watching Lazy Hiker. And enjoy your hike.